Ladies and gentlemen, Black Ops 6 Ranked Play has been in the game now for over a week. There's a couple problems that we got to talk about. Now, I've been playing it on and off. I haven't been grinding too hard. Definitely not as hard as I used to grind it back in MW3. And I got to say, there's a lot of things I enjoy about this game. I think this is one of the best CODs we've gotten in the last five or six years. The gunplay, the movement, everything feels really fun and interactive to play with. But there's a few things that kind of break the entire system and make it pretty unplayable. Now, first thing, right Right off the rip we're going to talk about is the cheating there's a lot of cheaters in ranked play and now when it comes to ranked play all i can compare it to is last year because it's a new thing and it gets built from the ground up every single year the sr system kind of changes a little bit this year they introduced the fact that you can play with a party of four no matter what rank anyone is. So you could be gold, diamond, crimson, and bronze. You could have all four of those players get into a party and play together, which is really good. A lot of new things and a lot of new innovations to make the system better and more fun, more enjoyable for everyone to play. So all we could really do is compare it to last year and look at this year and see what's different, what's new. And when it comes to cheating, I can only compare it to last year in MW3 or the year before in MW2. And I gotta say this year for C season one it's a lot worse than it was in mw3 or mw2 now mw2 i didn't really grind ranked much especially not in season one but in mw3 i was there from the first minute ranked launched i'm a avid cod enjoyer enthusiast whatever you want to call it i watch streams i watch videos breakdowns tips and tricks i make my own videos too of course so i'm always kind of knee deep in the info the intel and getting to know what's going on and what's what now this year i've seen so many people streaming getting to top 250 and even before they get there now before we get deeper into this video let me tell you about today's video sponsor and the new sponsor of the channel cinch gaming they are a controller company that makes hall effect sticks hands down the best pro controller company on the market right now, now i just got one I got mouse click triggers, mouse click buttons all over, four back buttons, and obviously they're remappable. Now the coolest part about this and the reason I decided to partner up with Cinch Gaming is that they have Hall Effect sticks. If you guys have been watching me for the past couple years, you'll know that I have literally went through hundreds of controllers I've bought and returned. And the reason for that is usually they can't last more than two weeks without stick drift. You don't know when you play an FPS game, stick drift is a killer. It'll ruin your gameplay experience. Now, basically, when you press down on the sticks of your controller, traditional controllers and a lot of pro gaming controllers, there's going to be some plastic in there. Now, after a certain amount of time of wear and tear of moving the stick around, pushing it down and stuff like that, that plastic is going to wear down and it causes stick drift where your aim or your camera just moves by itself without you touching the sticks. What Cinch Gaming has done is they have a magnetic technology that's in there. It's called Hall Effect Sticks. These are basically guaranteed to never get stick drift for a lifetime unless you damage or break the controller itself. So it it was a no-brainer for me you get one controller you don't need to replace it every year every month every six months for me it was like every two weeks but i'm thrilled to have this also they have ps5 and xbox if you're on console you're good to go either way i'm on pc so i got the ps5 controller so i can overclock it and have that nice sweet low response time now if you guys want to check them out the link's going to be in the description and you can use code dib at checkout for 10 percent off and a way to support me now let's get back into the video. Even as early as hitting rank diamond, they're going against constant cheaters. We're not just talking someone might have walls. We're not sure. It's someone with a name you've never heard of and they feel like they're God's gift at the game. We're talking about blatant walls and aimbot. And this is something that you would expect with a anti-cheat in the game. You would expect the anti-cheat to be able to pick that up, detect it, ban the player, or at least stop them from playing for a certain amount of time until they're sure that that person is cheating and then move on with the resolution to either ban them or if they're not cheating, unban them. Now, this is a clip on Twitter. We're looking at this guy. Uh, I don't know what his name is. Let me see. AKA Batman on Twitter. The quality is pretty low and I do apologize for that, but this is the best I can get on Twitter. You're fat. I'm sure. This guy is just I'm spinning sure. around in circles, oh. getting kill after kill through walls, just blatant aimbot. Treyarch, where's my forfeit butt, you dog shit game developer? Fuck you!
right? And he's upset. I would also be upset. Now, just last night, we got this tweet from Call of Duty Updates and Treyarch, and it looks like they updated Ricochet. They banned 19,000 accounts. And this is the most important thing that I've noticed from this is that they're doing hourly sweeps to remove cheaters from the rank play mode and leaderboard. This is really good. This is really good stuff. But what kills the game is if you go on to the top 250 leaderboard, there's at least 15 to 25 names that you would not recognize. They're not streamers. And if you look online, there's multiple videos of those names in lobbies cheating against streamers. So blatantly, and obviously those guys are cheaters. They haven't been caught yet, even though they're doing sweeps and they've already banned 19,000 accounts. But so it looks like their, their system is still not quite good. And like I was saying before, if you compare this to season one of MW3, it's just night and day because in season one and season two of MW3, there was cheaters, but there was very few. And it was very rare that you would run into one, especially me being a lower rank I would be in diamond or crimson and I would be nowhere near cheaters. There would be people with a Cronus barely missing shots and having soft aim, but you wouldn't see blatant walls and aimbot, which is a huge thing that I think kills ranked play when you have no desire to grind because you know that as soon as you hit a certain rank, you're going to go against cheaters. I don't know what they could do to fix this. Now, last year, it was until season four and season five. So once season four and season five hit for MW3, that's when we saw a huge influx of cheaters. There was a lot of them. Even being in Crimson myself, not the highest rank iridescent or top 250, I would go against cheaters quite often, maybe once or twice a day at the very least. But I was not expecting this to happen in season one. Or, or season two. And the fact that it's happening on launch in the first week of ranked play is a big concern. You do hear time and time again about Ricochet getting updated, the cheaters getting the justice they deserve and getting banned. And then year after year, we get slightly disappointed because there's a huge gap and a huge chunk of cheaters that slip through that crack and they're able to just hey did you know that you can join this channel as a member youtube memberships are a way to support me and this channel to keep producing juicy quality content all you have to do is click the join button next to the subscribe button pick your tier and fill out the payment info upon joining you will instantly have access to special one-of-a-kind emojis that you can use in our live chat and youtube comments you also get a juice box as a badge of membership that will display in our live chats and youtube comments as well with special hangouts in our discord that are members only so what are you waiting for join the dipsters army as an official member today infiltrate these lobbies and cheat as much as they want so for me that really ruins the ranked play experience i'm still gonna grind here and there but i'm probably gonna play some private match ranked play because that's more enjoyable and it's much more obvious who's cheating. And if they are cheating, you can just not play against them and you're good to go. Now, the other problem with ranked play is the maps. We have pretty good maps, but they're nowhere near perfect. And that's always been the case. Last year, we were playing Invasion Hardpoint where people were spawning inside of each other. So we're used to getting okay maps and kind of dealing with it. But this year in particular, especially for the game mode control, you only have three maps to play, Rewind, Protocol, and Vault. I think Vault and Protocol play really well. Rewind, not so much. From listening to what the pros are saying, I don't think Rewind is going to get played at all in the CDL format. And so we desperately need a new map to get added into that rotation. And it's honestly a shame. That's why I'm making this video. There's been cheaters before in MW3, like in Season 4 and Season 5 of MW3. I could have easily made a video showing you guys tons and tons of gameplay of me going against hard blatant cheaters but this year it's even more painful because i really enjoy this call of duty i think it brings a lot to competitive cod the movement omni movement the gunplay the aim assist got nerfed quite significantly from last year so it's really fun to play it's really rewarding to hit your shots and outmaneuver people so it's just such a shame to see ranked play get treated the way that it's getting treated and i really hope that there's some sort of fix that can make it at least just kind of worth grinding for the semi good player like if you get to crimson you're not guaranteed cheaters every single game and that's literally the case right now i invite you guys to go to twitch or find streamers on youtube that are streaming ranked if they're in crimson 
If you sit there and watch 30 minutes of gameplay, that's about two or three games, you're guaranteed to see a lobby full of cheaters. It's honestly heartbreaking as someone who loves COD, so I hope we can get a fix for this. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll see y'all in the next one.